Hello, thank you guys so much for clicking this video today. I really appreciate it. It's been a while. I've been busy developing on the back end, building products for Cardano that will be coming out this year. Really excited to start talking about them. It's really time for me to start releasing some of this narrative, to so start watching some of the videos that I'm going to re release in the future to learn more about what I've been working on. In this video, we're going to be talking about a lot of cool stuff. Mark Cuban actually invested in a Cardano project. Which Cardano project is it? We're going to be going into that later in the video. We're going to be talking about an event that I'm also hosting at consensus this month so if you're near the texas area make sure you stay tuned to that part of the video we're going to be talking about updates from charles hoskinson marlowe decentralized identity mithril and more so if you guys enjoy this video make sure you click the like button comment down below subscribe if you haven't already at the end of the video we're going to be doing a giveaway so make sure you stay till the end to earn 50 dollars in jed so make sure you stay till the end to learn how you can actually enter that giveaway today and let's jump right into it so the first thing that we're going to talk about today is mark cuban invest in a cardano based project this was actually very surprising to me you know, Mark Cuban was with, you know, the Luna and the Solana and the Ethereum. He often talked shit about Cardano. You know, he would say a lot of negative things about it. He would say nothing is happening. There's no development going on over there. And now we can see that was just from ignorance. A lot of people are told this narrative about Cardano that no one's building over here. Nothing is going on and that we're still in the 2018, 2019 days of Cardano. But as you can see, he very quickly realized that that is not true anymore, and he's actually invested in Book.io. So what is Book.io? Book.io is actually a way for people to buy books and have them in their wallet. Um, you know, at first I was a little confused by it. You know, why is this interesting? And it's the same reason for all of their digital content. You know, oftentimes when you purchase something online, you're paying for the right to play it. You know, if it's a video game or the right to listen to it. Whereas you're not actually owning the song. You're just paying for the right to listen, play, read, etc. And that is what Book.io is about. It's allowing people to actually own the books they purchase instead of just paying for the ability to read it, which I honestly think is really cool. You know, Steam is actually a digital game service platform that sells video games. And I've got a lot of games on there. I've got a lot of hours and, you know, content on there. And if I were ever banned from Steam, whether the reason be true or not, I lose all of that money and all of that content that I put in. So moving to a world where we actually own the content we have and we're not paying for the right to view it and we can't be banned from the content that we've paid for, I think is a better world. So congrats to Book.io. It's pretty awesome to see Mark Cuban uh, over here investing in Cardano projects. We definitely need that because Catalyst has been paused all year. Maybe, uh, you know, Daddy Mark Cuban will come save us all. So the next piece of content we have today is an Atrium Lab and Singularity Net Cardano meetup at Consensus. So this is actually going to be this month on the 28th. I know it's short notice. This was kind of put together last minute, but it's still going to be a great event. Uh, consensus is one of the largest events in the United States. You know, it's about blockchain and consensus and a lot of projects come there. And one of the issues that I found is, you know, last year there were 1,600 Cardano people at Consensus minimum. There was a huge party. You know, Charles Hoskinson came out. Uh, you know, World Mobile was there. There's actually a, a great picture of me and Mickey. Me and Mickey kind of hugging each other that they posted on the World Mobile Twitter. Uh, it was the best event that I've ever been to other than Rare Bloom. And I think it really made people turn their heads. You know, the booth was green and it was lush and it had white background and it really was, you know, shocking. It, it made you want to, you know, turn your head and look at it. And all of the other, you know, booths and cryptocurrency projects, they were all looking at the Cardano booth as it was overflowing with people. And this is the first time that we've ever came out to, you know, larger industry events like that. So I was hoping the same thing was going to happen this year. Uh, Charles has stated otherwise, though. He said he's not going because he wasn't invited, uh, which I think is very unfortunate. I don't think you need to be invited to things like this, but he said there was other important things going on, so it makes sense there. The issue is, you know, we need to come to these events. We need to integrate ourselves in the wider cryptocurrency community so we get people like Mark Cuban to invest in products, so we get developers and we teach people that there is stuff 
happening over in the Cardano ecosystem. We have to get rid of that narrative. We have to bridge the gaps because there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. And there's a lot of cool stuff going on over there. And if we want a better future, we need to work together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm fixing the problem. I'm bringing Cardano to consensus. So far, we have a lot of awesome people coming. We have myself. I'm actually going to pitch Atrium um, for the first time. So if you guys haven't already, follow Atrium on Twitter. Link will be down below. The goal of Atrium is to bring everything on Cardano into one easy-to-use application that teaches you how to do it. We'll have video guides in there, text guides. And not only is it going to teach you how to use the application, you're actually going to be incentivized to use the application and learn from the application and learn about pieces of the blockchain that you've never used before. So that's what Atrium Lab is about. I'm gonna be releasing more information for the first time at this event in Austin, Texas. Uh, you know, click this link down below. We're gonna have more events throughout the year. So make sure you guys subscribe to our little, uh, you know, our event group, the Cardano Meetup of Atrium Lab group. It's my first time using Meetup before, but I think we're gonna use it moving forward. So would love to see you guys there. These events are always a blast. I'm always inspired by a lot of the people that come to these events. So hope to see you there. We're gonna have some, you know, some drinks for you. You know, we're gonna have Ben Gortzel. I'm speaking to a few other companies uh, that may come. So this is the maybes right now. We've got Ada Handle as a maybe. We've got Sunday Swap as a maybe, and then NuFi Wallet as a maybe. Gonna be an awesome event. It always is when I get to see your guys' lovely faces. So let's go on, more updates. So we got a stream from Charles yesterday, the man, the myth, the legend, Charles Hoskinson, and he gave us some updates on what is going on on all things Cardano. There are a lot of things that have been, you know, hanging in the back, things that have never been delivered, never been shipped. And one of those things is Marlowe. Marlowe is a way for people, everyday people like you and I, not those crazy developers that stay up till four in the morning, a way for us to actually write smart contracts, but we're not writing anything. It's actually puzzle pieces. And these individual puzzle pieces, you can connect together to write smart contracts. And the goal of that is to allow everyday people to write financial contracts with their friends and family, to maybe build protocols one day, and Marlowe is actually coming soon. Charles mentions in this live stream that they are closer to Marlowe and that it is more likely that it will release sooner rather than later. So great news there. Atala Prism is actually coming closer. Atala Prism is decentralized identity. Decentralized identity is important to me because oftentimes our data lives on these servers and you know social security numbers are leaked and all of this data that we need to hold dear is leaked and decentralized identity is unique because your data actually has a public and a private key. So instead of you know giving you my age or giving you my tax ID number, I essentially tell you, yes, you get a check mark from me instead of me giving you that data that lives on that server. And I think that's a good move towards the future uh, to better protect you know, people's privacy and, you know, their identity because identities are stolen often. Lace was released this week. I'll put some uh, video of Lace being used on screen here. Uh, Lace is uh, a new wallet. It's a light wallet. It's actually made by IOG. So it's really the, the light dataless replacement. Uh, you know, it's IOG's standard wallet. You know, I personally use Eternal, but congratulations. We've been waiting a long time for that. The UI and UX looks pretty good. Uh, there's not really a lot of new features, but in that live stream, Charles mentioned that they're gonna be releasing features every three to six weeks. So that's pretty quickly, every three weeks, you know, new features. And that is always great, you know, using an application and seeing new stuff come out every day. So Mithril is a way of actually not having to sync the entire blockchain, but having security there. So he says uh, Lace is actually gonna release uh, with Mithril probably in six months. But, you know, these things always take time. You know, dev speak or, you know, project manager speak is always much earlier, uh, you know, when they say it's going to ship than when it actually does. So we'll be waiting on that. If you made it till the end of the video, make sure you comment Atrium Lab in the comment section to enter the DJED giveaway and then join the Discord server down below. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, tell me what you thought. Where do you, what, how do you feel about Cardano right now? We're in a bear market. There's a lot of fear, uncertainty, in doubt. How do you feel? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Love you guys and hope you have a good rest of your month. Hopefully I see you in Austin, Texas.